At the Church of Safe Injection, we pay obedience to a higher authority. That's Jesse Harvey in early 2019. He caused a stir, offering to break Maine law by handing out clean needles to drug users. Last week, he caused concern, some surprise again. Police say Harvey was arrested for OUI, then the next day, assaulting a Maine Medical Center nurse, spraying her mouth and face with a syringe of what he said was meth. I was really sad and scared for Jesse. Jesse's a friend of mine. Corinne Odlin leads the board for Journey House, the network of sober houses Harvey helped found. He was let go after the arrest, Odlin saying the homes are unaffected. Luckily, Jesse hadn't been that involved in the day-to-day -day operations for some time. Jesse was a very passionate and visible figure. I think that's why it's sort of a shock for people. It could happen to anybody. Other advocates agree. The operation of the houses and the welfare of the residents, which is most important, was in no way compromised because of Jesse's situation. Dr. Ron Springle, part of the Maine Association of Recovery Residences, or MAR. He says incidents like Harvey's point out recovery program strengths and weaknesses. Weaknesses a new law aims to fix. Three years ago, there were no certified houses in Maine. There is now uh, an incentive for houses to become certified. This year, Maine's legislature passed a law giving grant money to recovery homes that meet voluntary standards and and get a certification. If a certified house violates the rules, MAR does a review. We review uh, all their standards, their policies. Jesse Harvey responded to us in a text message Monday afternoon. It says, I'm sorry to all those who I've hurt. I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm facing criminal charges. I'd ask that people reserve judgment until I'm tried and convicted, but it is their right to judge me now if they so choose. In Portland, Dustin Blinkowski, News Center, Maine. And Harvey's court appearances are scheduled for fall.